in today's tutorial we're going to make a classic dining room chair uh, this is called a ladder back chair so let's begin hi blender fans and welcome once again to blender tc and don't forget if you're new to the channel consider subscribing let's begin scale this down by scale this cube by 0.15 so I press the S key and then put 0.15 as you can see there. And what we're going to do is actually move our mouse wheel to actually scroll in a little bit to actually make our leg. So I'm just going to scale this leg up, scale in the Z by 6, just to make it 6 times longer from top to bottom. So what we've got now is got a very, very sharp table leg and it wouldn't look real in the real world because you'd end up getting cut to ribbons by the actual corners. They'd really hurt it if you fell into them. So going into our tab key, let's make it look a bit more real. So what you do is hold the shift key down and select the corner edges like that. And we're just going to add a bevel by pressing Ctrl and B just to bevel. And as you can see, this bevel menu comes up. If it's shrunken down like that, then you can open it up. And we're just going to make this 0.25. And I'm just going to make this four segments. So we've now got an edge on our We've now got soft edges on our leg. But as you can see, we've got lines on there. So I'm just going to shade smooth this. And of course, that gets some, some distortion, which of course we don't want. What we've got, if we go into edit mode by pressing the tab key, we've got like point select, line select and face select. So go on face select and select the top face. Now we're going to E and S extrude, then scale by 0.75, and then E by S by 0.75. So we're now making a the distortion disappear by extruding, then scaling by 0.75, then extruding and scaling by 0.75. This works because we've got two faces level to each other adjacent, so this will really smooth out our mesh. And even though the actual topology is quite rough, it doesn't really matter because these will be hidden away from the eyes and of course this will look quite good this is a low poly version of a chair so what i'm going to do now is press the sum key and look from the top and we're just going to move this across the ways just to about there and as you can see we've already got one of our table legs but of course we want to make these into quite a few others as you can see you've got this hard and fast layer so i'm just going to move this in fact i'll move it so that point is where these lines roughly cross because that will work quite well in our tutorial in making our chair and I think it would look quite about right actually in fact I might make this slightly bigger by scaling this up oops sorry control z to undo scale in the z make it a little bit taller uh yeah I think I will I can always shrink it down later on if I think it's too tall so we've got that and what we're going to do now is shift and d just to duplicate this and I'm going to rotate it in the x by 90 to make our cross rail so looking from the top I'm just going to move this into place d and z yep, sorry g and y just to move it in the y direction along the green line until it's about where I want it and I'm going to scale it in the x by 0.5 because I want it to be thinner now I'm just going to scale this in the Y until it's about where I wish it to be which is about the and G and Y just to move it down a little bit in fact I'm just gonna scale that up scale just so it's about there so I've made my actual bottom rail of my chair now I'll make it a little bit skinnier scale in the X by 0.75, just make it a little bit thinner. Now what I'm going to do is now duplicate this once again and scale it in the Z by 0.5. I'm going to make that a little bit thinner because this is going to be the size G and Z of my, you know, like the cross runner. And then I'm just going to shift and D just to duplicate this and G and Z just to move it up in the air. And I'm just going to scale it in the Z by 2 just to make it a little bit thicker. Pressing the 3 key, I can look... At this from the side and i'm just gonna g and c just to move it up until it's in the desired place and scale in the y just to take it a bit into itself so we've now got our classic chair and if we just join these together like that and press the right click and just join them together what we've got is we've got a chair a chair leg now i seem to have a little bit of distortion on this 
this this one here don't quite like it so what i'm going to do is add the loop cut and just move it down there just to take some of that distortion control and r and just to move it up there that's it yep i'm happier with that let's just have a look at it in rendered mode just make sure the light's okay yeah i think that's about right so all we need to do now as you can see if we look from the top our origin point is there which is a little yellow dot so but i want my origin point to be where the 3d cursor is so i'm just going to object set origin 3d cursor and as you see the like yellow dots move from there to there and all we need to do now is duplicate this three times and rotate it by 90 each time so shift and d rotate in the z by nine zero shift and d rotate in the z by nine zero and shift and d rotate in the z by nine zero as you can see we've now got a chair if your legs were on there the bang into this side so what we're going to do is i'm just going to actually join these all together like that by holding the shift button down and selecting everything and then just join them together i'm then going to go into edit mode press the l key after selecting the line which will then select all edges and this will allow me to g and y just to move it into the center if we look from the top i can move it g and y until it's in the correct position as you can see it's a little bit short from left to right so what i'm going to do is first of all scale it down because i want it to be a little bit thinner than the other pieces of wood and then scale in the x just to make it join them together like that I'm then going to select this line on the back, press the L key to select all, and X, and I'm just going to delete it by deleting vertices. The vertices is everything, so I've just deleted all of them. So we've now got our classic chair shape. Pressing the 3 key will look from the side, and all I need to do now is make the back of my chair, and I'm going to do this quite simply by going on face select in edit mode, if you've come out of edit mode you press the tab key to come in and out but go on face select in edit mode select that face there select that face there and control plus 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 will grow my selection if you go a little bit too far like i have done there you can press the minus key which will take the selection back i'm now going to extrude in the z direction so press e and then z until the purple line appears and take it up like that and we've got that classic back of our chair and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just leave it about there right so now we've actually made the back of our chair if we go on line select and select this line here then press the l key which selects all of an individual part i'm just going to shift and d to duplicate the part again and then i'm going to press the g key and the c key just to move that part up until it's up here so i've now made that and what i'd like to do is just scale this in the z by 1.5 just to make it that little bit wider and g and z just to move it up until it's in just about where i want it to be and what i'm going to do is shift and d just to duplicate it press the enter key to fix and then g and z just to move g and z sorry shift and d always remember to press the enter key to actually duplicate it and then g and z just to move it down like that in fact i'm just going to g and z just to move it up slightly Control z l g and z just to move it up and just select the g and z i'm just eyeballing this because sometimes i think it looks sometimes better looks like we've got a bit of distortion in here so what i'm going to do Control and r and press the five key just to put five loop cuts in Control and R by 5. I just actually take down some of the distortion. And also, we're going to use the 5 loop cuts later on to actually shape our chair. So we've got our classic chair. And as you can see, it's quite stiff looking. So what I'm going to do is actually those 5 loop cuts. We're going to actually select that. Press the Alt key down and select that loop cut there. Hold the Shift key down now. Shift, Alt and left click. And Shift, Alt and left click. And then with them all selected, we've got this proportional editing here. Hit the proportional editing button and G and Y. And as you can see, we can actually alter the back of our chair. But the influence is a bit too big. So G and Y. Take the influence ring down by pressing the rolling the mouse forward or backwards. And then just move it just to put 
a slight bend in the back of our chair. Coming out of edit mode, we can actually see that we've got the back of our chair, but it's too straight backed and it wouldn't be very comfortable. So what I'm gonna do is actually select this point there, uh, that face there, sorry. Select that face there. I went on to face select to select the faces and just grab it. Because we've actually got our influence still on, if we actually went G and Y, and we actually increase this circle like that, we can actually make our classic chair shape. And voila, we've nearly done our chair. Last but not least, what we're going to do is we're going to rename this chair. So we've renamed this chair. I'm just going to add in a cushion on top of this, just to actually finish off our chair. So I'm just going to hide the chair by pressing the H key just to hide it. And I'm just going to add in another cube and just scale this in the Z direction like that. Extrude the base. I did that by going into edit mode. Select the face, E, Z, and E and Z. I'm just going to move it down. I'm putting two loop cuts in there at the bottom just to actually you know, make a mess of that though. E and C until the purple lines appear. And what we're going to do is add a subdivision modifier to this by hitting the spanner wrench, add subdivision modifier, subsurface. As you can see, that makes this shape and take that up to two. And we're going to add some loop cuts just to actually shape our chair. So press the tab key. First of all, two in that direction. So it's Control and R. And roll your mouse until you get two. So we've got the classic shape of our seat. And what I'm going to do is Control and R just to put one in the middle there. And Control and R again just to flatten our back of our seat off there. Good girl. So I've made our chair and shade smooth it by selecting it and right clicking it and shade smooth. So we've basically made a cushion for our chair. And what I'm going to do is select the middle face there and G and Z just to move it up, reducing my influence ring just to make it our classic seat. Oopsie daisy. In fact, I'll take the influence ring off for a second or two and G and Z just to move it up slightly like that. And we've made ourselves our chair cushion. And all we need to do is actually make our chair reappear by pressing Alt and H. Makes our chair reappear and G and Z just to move it our cushion up. Scale it up in the Z just to make it a little bit chunkier and scale it in the Y just to make it a little bit longer and G and Y just to move it forward. If it just look from the side, G and Y just to move it until it's just in the right place. And then what I can do is scale this along the X by pressing S and then X. Just make it wider. So let's have a look, that's about, that's about right. Hide the camera just so it's not in the way. And what we can do, if we look through the camera, you can, you can see we've actually got a chair. Press the N key, I'm just gonna go into view, just alter my camera slightly, just to make it in the correct place. So we made our simple chair, and all we're gonna have to do now is simply colour them in. Uh, let's see, new. I'm just going to make this a black leather um, on the seat there. Um, going to shade in. I'll just leave it as a black plain chair. And maybe get a bit of a shine. So I'm going to the texture. I'm on the seat. As you can see, it's black. Add a bit of metallic, which makes it shiny. So I'm just going to there. Makes it shiny. And... All I'm going to do is take the roughness down. So we've got our classic chair and then a new material. Don't like brilliant white, so I'm just going to take it slightly down. So it's a, just a, an off-white yellow colour. And if we click, to, click off our chair, add in a plane just to, so we can get a few shadows. E and Z, oops, G and Z, 
And as you can see, we've made ourselves a classic chair. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is a simple tutorial, and with a little bit of messing about, you can actually do a lot of different things. So this chair could actually be made into all sorts of different chairs by just pressing the tab key, selecting faces. You know, so I'm just going to uh, lay out again, look through the camera, you know, just selecting faces, and go on to proportional editing. And you could scale it in the X to make weird looking chairs and all sorts of things. It's entirely up to you. Control Z just to actually undo things, just to make it back into that simple chair. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, now let's, uh, did we record any of that though? Yes, we did. Bye for now. And thanks for joining me.